Nancy and Sangria. That's no sex. <laughs> oh no, we're British. But we are crazy for those costas. We love Benidorm! Yeah! It's like uh, Blackpool on steroids. You're telling me, Rachel. Over 180,000 of us have said bye bye, Blighty, and all our to a life in the Spanish sun. Oh, this is spectacular. I love it. Making that dream a reality can be tough work. It's where there's Mackney's bra. It's going to be one of them days, I can feel it. There's not enough hours in the day, is there? But living on the costas might just be worth all that hard graft. Yes, I'm living the dream now. Cheers, ladies. I feel alive. <laughs> That's why there will always be. Everybody's friendly. Fun, fun, fun. Really cheap. It's chips and curry sauce at five in the morning. <laughs> Bargain Louis Brits in the sun. Today on the Costas, wedding planner Louise needs to ensure lovebirds Kyle and Lauren have the wedding of their dreams. We're completely relying on her. I put all my trust in her hands. Have shopkeepers James and Peter blown the budget on their home renovation plans? Have you seen the size of the paint? I think we've got enough to paint the whole town. And like a wig out of hell, Meatloaf tribute Simon Rustin has a bad hair day. They end up looking like that. In Benidorm... Hello, my darling. There's a lot of love in the air. No worries. Really like Today's a very special day for Yorkshire couple, 28-year-old Lauren <laughs> and 31-year-old Kyle, who've travelled from Hornsey to tie the knot. Me and Kyle are getting married today. It's been 10 years and we're finally here. And it's all actually happening. <laughs> That's my main responsibility when we get there. We've been told I've got to give out the buttonholes. The Benidorm-loving couple are getting ready for their big day in a local hotel, 14 floors apart. No alcohol until I'm married. I'm just happy with a cup of coffee. I don't even know what a buttonhole is. <laughs> What's a buttonhole? One woman who knows the answer to that question, Kyle, is wedding planner Louise Bradley. This ain't going to fit in, is it? Originally from Wordsley in the West Midlands, Louise, who now lives in Alicante, has organised over 800 weddings in Spain for UK couples in the last 17 years. Class filthy. With the help of 81-year-old stepmum Irene. I do weddings in Spain because it's a lot more relaxed, a lot more budget friendly for the people coming over and there's a big cry for people that want to get married abroad. Lauren and Kyle's dreams of marrying in Spain, overlooking the beach in Altea, are about to come true. Thanks to Louise. What we got in here? Cupcakes. We've just arrived at the beach and we're going to unload some of the decorations and goodies and champagne and cakes. Louise is completely responsible for today. She's um, organised the flowers, she's organised the music, she's organised the cake. We're completely relying on her. I put all my trust in her hands. We've got a nice sign for Lauren and Kyle getting married. Louise has her work cut out. She's only met Lauren once before today. So the theme of the wedding today is sort of quite boho and sort of quite natural colours, so she's put her own mark on everything, which is really nice. Back at the hotel, the bridal preparations are in full swing. Ooh, loving the matching PJs, ladies. The lovebirds met online in 2013 and have holidayed all over the world, but they loved Benidorm the best. Randomly last year, he just said, let's get married in Benidorm. So that night, I was straight on the internet searching for how to get married in Benidorm, um, came across Louise, um, instantly messaged her that night and she was straight on it. I mean, I can't have asked for anybody better to plan my wedding and I'm just so excited to see what she's got in store today. Do I look pretty yet? Pretty. <laughs> just pretty with or without stragglers. I don't want them the same as yours. <laughs> no, I know. Louise and Irene have just over two hours to set everything up. But she can't do anything yet. I don't like waiting. I like to what be doing... What did they say they were half coming? Half ten-ish. The wedding licence was due, but hasn't arrived from the town hall. Until she has it in her hands, Spanish law dictates that Louise and the gang cannot start setting up or they could face a hefty fine. Because if we go down there and the police come, we ain't got a pack pit any paper, so just pull it in here for now. Hopefully she won't be long. Honest to God. Time is ticking away, but until the licence from the town hall turns up, all Louise and Irene can do is wait. Mm -hmm. 
in Andalusia, an hour's drive north of Malaga, is the village of Mayena. Better, she wants a cheese and onion and cheese and ham. Married shopkeepers James and Peter Day made the move from Portsmouth to Spain three years ago. Uh, two tins of carrots, I put those out the back. And run a corner shop selling British goods. Are they all right in there? Oh, lovely, yes, thank you. Six months ago, the boys said adios to caravan living at the local campsite and hola to a four bedroom house just up the road in the rural town of Alameda. The first home they've owned together. We're living a much more Spanish lifestyle. Muy bien, ¿eh? Yeah. <laughs> Good. It's really strange going from sort of a two bedroom caravan into a four bedroom house. Um, and we've been, we've been playing around on a budget. We've been playing around with it. So we've been upcycling furniture, really bedding down in Spain. It feels like this is more of a, um, a permanent fixture and fitting now. See you there, isn't it? The boys have been working flat out to finish the renovations, but are only able to get so far. And it's crying out for a paint job that will finally make it feel like home. Right, Peter's out, so let's have a quick look around. So this is our new home. This is the biggest renovation that we've had, which has just been finished today, is the roof up here was all corrugated iron. And we've had the panel taken out and put the perspex in, which has really let some, some light in. So it's sort of quite a weird sort of internal, external, garden-y, arboretum type thing. Ooh, fancy. Spanish properties need to be teased into modernity. <laughs> so for every little one problem we've found, you sort of open a drain cover or a drain block, and then it's another problem and another problem and another problem. But slowly, we're, we're, we're pulling her together. This used to be a bedroom stuck between these two other bedrooms. So we had a whole new bathroom suite put in, which I love. Having spent nine grand so far of their hard-earned cash on renovations, the couple are keen to save money on the rest of the house. Their next job is to finish what was a spare bedroom before the furniture arrives in two days. Because of the light in this room, we've decided that we're going to have this as like a little summer, a summer type sitting room. Um, but as you can see, the walls are a bit scrappy. So hopefully we'll get some paint on these walls and brighten it up a bit and let some of the light in. It's an epic job and the only way to tackle it is to invite two old friends to help finish it in one go. Paint, I think, is down here. So Peter's headed off to a hardware store. They have a budget of 60 euros to spend on a small tub of white paint, brushes, rollers and trays. No, they haven't got the white. They need to paint today so the walls dry in time for new furniture being delivered in two days. So, with no small tubs of white paint, Peter's going to have to splash the cash on a 50 euro large one. That's yeah. Thank you. Bye. My whole budget's gone on paint. We have to have the same paint because this is the paint that we used in the rest of the house. Peter needs to find the rollers, tray and brushes for under 10 euros. I hope this doesn't tip over in the bloody car. Me too, Peter. Coming up. How would you describe these? Wedding planner Louise is bamboozled by what her bride-to-be needs. It's going to be pretty much sort of guesswork, a lot of it today. From meatloaf to beetloaf, singer Simon rocks out a healthier diet. We're going to pick a smaller one and we're going to have that for, for dinner tonight. A 20-minute drive away from bustling Benidorm nightlife is the quiet mountain village of Finistrat. Everything you see here, I planted. The bay leaf, two different types of tomatoes. We've got some basil, we've got some coriander, and we've got dill. By day, it's where you'll find 55-year-old singer Simon Ruston quietly tending his vegetable patch. This is oregano, and I found it up the mountain growing wild. So, as you can see, and that's, that's the smell that you get on like a pizza. And this is wild sage and wild rosemary. All of these are pulled from the mountain and planted them here. I live in fields surrounded by lemons, almonds, olives, but a beautiful outlook. I have grapevines and grow my own vegetables. 
But by night, this Alan Titchmarsh of the Costa Blanca swaps his gardening gloves for a motorcycle and lashings of mascara. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. To become one of the most popular tribute acts in Benidorm. Be no party people! Meatloaf. Which he and singing partner Leslie perform six nights a week. I've been performing the Meat Love Show for 11 years, uh, but I've actually been singing in professional bands since I was 15 years old. And now it's, what we're told, one of the most successful shows in Benidorm. So that's basically my job. And it's not really a job, it's a dream. It's not all been rock and roll. Green-fingered Simon and his young family made the move from South Church in South End 15 years ago for a quieter life. Just before I came to Spain, um, I was a fire alarm installer. Money was fantastic, but the stress was absolutely through the roof. He said, listen, I used to get up at half past five in the morning, work in a freezing cold building site, get home at eight o'clock, and I just thought, I don't want the cars, I don't want the money, I don't want all the stress and aggravation. I just want to see my kids grow up. Now what do I do? I drive down for a mountain to Benidorm. I sing for one hour, maybe two at the most. It is, it is, it is the dream, <laughs> you know. Simon's kids have all grown up and flown the nest. And now he shares his home with his soon-to-be wife, Lucy. You want to go to your tonight? Oh, you can't beat a ratatouille. I'm here at the moment with uh, my fiancée, Lucy. She's a uh, cabin crew. She lives in the UK and here in Spain and uh, we're getting married at the end of the year. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to go in and do some dinner. Sounds grand. Are you going to help, Lucy? Yeah, the food's beautiful, but I'd stay away from it. It's his area, not mine. I get it. You'd do anything for love, but you won't do that. Performing till 1am, six nights a week, is not the easiest for a balanced lifestyle. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick, pick a smaller one, and we're going to have that for for dinner tonight. So Simon tries to look after himself and eat healthy by cooking dinner with ingredients fresh from the garden. So I just chop up all my veggies first. Problem is, being a singer, a lot of the time when you finish work, all that's open is kebab and burger. And, and that isn't healthy for you. Five years ago, after a health scare, Simon was advised to change his diet. So I went more to fish, carried on with me, uh, vegetables and actually enjoy the food more now at home. I cook every day. There's not a day that I don't cook uh, a meal from start to finish. After a day of gardening, ironing and cooking, all that's left is for Simon to transform into the rock legend himself, Meatloaf. While that's cooking away, 30 odd minutes, I have to get my clothes ready. He's only as good as his last show. It has to be perfect. Benidorm is home to over 100 tribute acts performing every night. Competition is fierce, and us Brits keep coming back to the Costas for more. We're hunting for tribute acts. <laughs> <laughs> Changed, then we hit the nightlife and we dance till three and four in the morning. Oh, we love a tribute band. Yeah, we love a tribute band. Gets rid of your inhibitions, being yeah. here where things, <laughs> things that you wouldn't do at home, you would do here, yeah. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> oh, you can't beat a boogie. But it's not all sun and fun on the Costa del Sol. Shopkeeper Peter Day is on the hunt for supplies. He and husband James have finally taken the plunge and bought their first Spanish home together after two years of caravan living. And there's renovations to be done. Three of those. It's vital the boys get their sunroom painted today, so it's dry, aired and ready for their new furniture arrival in two days' time. And brushes. And Peter's been buying the supplies on a strict budget. I think I've spent 85 euros. Oh, blame the budget. Not that strict. It was meant to be 60 euros. What the...? It's the only size tin of paint that they had. Come round here and try it. <laughs> I can't even live it. <laughs> oh, watch your back, James. <laughs> oh, it's too heavy. Oh, well, that's an accident waiting to happen. They, that's the only size they had for white. So we've blamed the budget. I mean, honestly, have you seen the size of the paint? 
I, I think we've got enough to paint the whole town. Well, on the plus side, you might be able to do the full house. All right, let's go, honey bunny. Back in the home village of Alameda. Uh, Tienes uh, bocadillos or sandwiches? A spot of L-U-N-C-H before they get on with the D-I-Y. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. Muy bien. Thank you very much. Okay. Delicious. But, um, haven't you got a house to paint? In your own time, boys. On the Costa Blanca, the sun's shining on lovebirds Lauren and Kyle. I'm just been for breakfast yet. Who later today will be finally tying the knot overlooking the beach in Altea after 10 years together. We came here for another little holiday and we were just chatting about it and, and I just said to Lauren, why not here? You know, it's, uh, it's a lot cheaper, you guaranteed the weather, it's a beautiful setting. And they're completely unaware there's a problem at their outdoor venue. Their wedding is due to start in two and a half hours. And planner Louise Bradley can't begin any of her mountain of tasks until someone shows up with the permit. So hopefully this looks like a van coming. It's a natural park that's owned by the local town hall and we're able to rent this out and pay the town hall money to use the space. We can start. Hang on, it looks like the florist with the park licence is here. Hola. Bien, bien, et tu? Si. Si, perfecto. Right, we crack on now, we can move all our cards. But the pressure's not off. The permit only allows them to be there for four hours in total, including the wedding service, so they'd best get set up. Luckily, Louise's stepmom, 81 years young, Irene, is ready to go. I'm here to help Louise, which I've been doing for the last 16 years. Generally doing what I'm told, to be quite honest. Leave Irene with the heavy work. Oops, sorry. <laughs> here under the shade, so it's... In here? Yeah. And I'd be lost without you. <laughs> While assistant Chris and Irene set up the champagne bar, there's still countless jobs to be done for Louise. From erecting the wedding arch, decorating the venue, arranging the chairs for 26 guests and rolling out the carpet. Is that where you want it? That's where it's going. <laughs> Back in Benidorm, the groom, Kyle, and his dad, John, are also feeling a bit of pressure. Uh, yeah, this is my speech. About one o'clock in the morning, I was uh, just going through it again. I've tried to find a good balance between uh, having some jokes in there, making it funny, get a bit, a bit emotional, I think, about, uh, about Lauren. And, um, she deserves it, you know, how much she's, she's put into today and you know, how grateful I am for it all, really. I think I'm ready. Don't ask me, but uh, you, you might want to get changed. I told him to be ready and in reception to leave at 12. See you in a bit. Chris is off to collect Kyle, but there's still tons to do for Louise and Irene. They arranged most of the things online, Lauren and Kyle, and I've not met them again since the initial meeting, so today's going to be a bit of a a wedding that's been done all by email. Louise would usually like to meet the wedding party in person just before the big day, but this time that's not been possible. I don't actually know what, how would you describe these? That, Louise, I believe is a dream catcher. There was no mention of like, I would say these are like boho-y type things. It's all the rage, Louise, trust me. Not sitting down and speaking to somebody and being told, this is where you want this, this is where you want that. It's gonna be pretty much sort of guesswork, a lot of it today. So hopefully we'll get the guessing right. Because don't forget, we've got to get some champagne on here as well. Yeah, we are 100% relying on Louise to make this the best day of our life. Obviously, none of it we've been able to see, literally. So I'm relying on her so much. I obviously know that she's gonna do an amazing job, um, but, it's still a bit mixed, makes me feel a bit anxious just because I'd normally be the one to sort all that um, in day-to-day -day life. With 17 years' experience of organising weddings in Spain, there are few obstacles Louise hasn't faced and sorted. With just over an hour to go until the 26 guests start arriving... A rattan hanging heart anywhere, wherever she's put. I feel like I'm missing something. Let's hope Louise 
doesn't disappoint Bride Lauren on her big day. Coming up, the cracks are beginning to show in James and Peter's DIY project. What do you do about that? Uh, I need to scrape it off. And Louise is missing something at the wedding. The bride. It's the bride's prerogative to be late. Up in the mountains near Benidorm, singer, gardener and cook Simon Ruston it's been signature dish. is living the dream in the village of Finistrat. But when the sun goes down, Simon's rock and roll alter ego comes out to play. Becoming one of Benidorm's top tribute acts. I love Meat Love growing up as a kid. I, I mean, I think everybody had the Bat Out of Hell album. Um, you know, and I loved his music. I couldn't say I was a super fan. Super fan or not, Simon's made a living for the last 11 years performing six nights a week as singing legend Marvin Lee Aday, a.k.a. Meatloaf. Wow, that's a fantastic album. Thank you very much. Any likeness to Meatloaf is put on with makeup and wigs and shirts and stuff like that. What I try and capture in the Meatloaf show is the the 70s meatloaf, the, the batter out of hell meatloaf. People want the same six songs again and again and again, and that's what we do. Simon's 11-year uninterrupted residency at a Benidorm show bar makes him one of the top performers on the Costas with his successful tribute act. But he's got a lot to live up to with so much competition on the entertainment scene, so every night has to deliver and every detail is carefully planned. You always have to have a skull. See, and then you, you always have to have a cross of some kind. And if you never cross with a skull, rock and roll jewellery. And you have to have eye makeup as well. That's, that's written in the rock and roll booklet that you get when you become a, like a rock singer. Oh, is ironing your own costume in the rock and roll booklet too? That's it. That's the ironing done. Yeah, so nothing glamorous. Ain't that the truth? One showbiz secret nobody knows about when you're performing as a luscious locked rock god six nights a week is... Oh, there's a rodent in the tub! Once a week, I, 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 I do my wigs. Yep, after working up a sweat on stage, Meatloaf's mane needs a rinse. Now, what happens is, that's what they look like. They end up looking like that. And that is it. A couple of hours, and then um, I wash the conditioner out. Uh, brush it, leave it hanging up wet. A bit like a bat out of LA. <laughs> I'll get me coat. Before he gets his meatloaf on, Simon needs to top up his energy levels. What I'm going to do is we just take a, a bit of chicken and um, rice tonight. But as it's raining, same as everybody back in the UK, we'll sit down, have some dinner. The lovely place where I live, you know, great relationship, children are happy. Where are you off? I'm going for a nap. You're going for a nap, obviously. Okay. All right, let's see you later. But I'm not getting any younger, <laughs> you know. I'm getting married at the end of the year, and I would like this to be the last dip in the roller coaster, and, and it just to sort of carry on at a nice, sort of easy level. I'm, I'm done with the up and downs and the excitements of that now. And that's it. We're off to work. See you later, cats. As Simon heads off on his 20-minute journey to Benny Dunn's Clubland, it's just enough time to warm up the vocal cords. <laughs> While Meatloaf's bombing into Benidorm like a bat out of hell, in nearby Altea, it's looking more Billy Idol. It's a nice day for a white wedding. Yorkshire couple Kyle and Lauren wanted to express their love overlooking the Mediterranean. Oh, the guests are here. And granting their wishes, fairy godmother and wedding planner Louise Bradley. But everyone is keen to turn up to this ball early. The guests are here and it's like 10 to 12. It doesn't start till 1 o'clock. An hour early. Crikey. Nothing we can do because there's nowhere for them to go. The only issue is that the beautiful spot where Kyle and Lauren are tying the knot is tucked away. Perfect for the ceremony. Hello there, you all here for the wedding? But not so perfect if you're a guest with an hour to kill in the midday heat. You can go back up the street on the side and then through the reception and just ask for the bar. 
When the guests come early, it's a bit of a, like, did I get the time wrong? Am I wrong? What with the licence and now the guests, her carefully laid plans are being put to the test. Let's hope problems don't come in threes, eh, Louise? The park is now looking a lot more like a wedding venue thanks to all the suppliers that Louise has booked, including the celebrant, Keith. No, I thought, is that Keith up there? There he is. Hello, Keith. Who will conduct the ceremony today? Keith! So everybody's here at the same time. Good morning. Good morning, all. How are we all doing today? We're good. Hi. How are you? Hi. Louise has also organised for musicians Sergio and Miguel to play live music during the celebration. Hola. Nice to meet you. But Sergio has discovered a problem. Ah, uh, yeah, we are trying to, to put everything and uh, look for electricity because uh, I think that we, we don't have it. Without electricity, the boys can't plug in the piano or the speakers, so no music to walk Lauren down the aisle. Are you trying to steal electric? Yeah, no, I thought this open at 12 o'clock, but today it's closed. It's closed. Yeah. I spoke too soon. Problems do come in threes. Never mind, Miguel. You can sing. We hopefully have You can power. sing. Sergio might have found a solution, if the PowerPoint works. I'd try it first, Miguel, just in case it's not turned on. We have power, people, and just in time, Kyle the groom's arrived. Um, I won't lie, I'm nervous. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, it's just a mix of emotions, really. Kyle, All right. yes. how are you? Yes, good. You nervous? Yeah, very. <laughs> I am. Why? I was OK up until yesterday, and everything just hit me. It was nerves, excitement, just a whole range of emotions. Vamos a ver, que no el punche, pero... It's all right, there's no rush. Now I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm more relaxed now, I'm here now. But don't worry, there's nothing to worry about. And now it's all it's all here and just looking at it, it just all looks amazing. If we go off course, nobody's any the wiser. <laughs> right, exactly. okay. Now if you stumble over any words or anything like that, yeah. don't worry, I'll give you time to recompose. We're about three minutes away from kickoff, so let's go. Crikey, is that the time? Thanks, Keith. Funny photo. OK, John. One, two, three, jump, okay, jump. With everyone leaping into action, looks like Kyle's calmed his nerves. Just, I'm ready for it to all happen now. It's going to be amazing. I feel pretty accomplished, Irene, because we're ready. Yeah. Well done, ladies. It's one o'clock, so the bride should be here any minute now. All the guests are here. We're all good to go. No stress, no worry, apart from no bride. So that's what we've got to look out for now. No bride yet. And I thought problems came in threes, not fours. Here we are in the Costas, living the dream. Happy days, Graham, in the hot seat for the next three hours. As us Brits know, living over here in Spain doesn't have to cost a packet. As long as you've got a smile in your face, and happiness in your heart, you're already winning. Happy days. Speaking of smiles, in Alameda on the Costa del Sol, one couple are beaming because the cavalry's arrived. Hi, guys. <laughs> I love your outfit. <laughs> Ian and Steve have been roped in to help finish paintwork before Peter and James's new furniture arrives in a couple of days. They've been struggling along on their own, they've got the builder doing it, and they really need to get this living room done, so we thought we'd give them a hand and get, get it finished. So what have you come as? Mr. Peter and Decorating Myself and Steve, we met Peter and James uh, when we purchased a property on Sado Park. Um, they were already living on there, and we became friends really quickly. They're great guys. You're my painting expert. Have you bought your painting slippers? I have. Got my painting slippers. The famous painting slippers. Then we're in good hands. Ian, Steve and his painting slippers are helping out of the goodness of their hearts. But if they can get the summer room done and dusted, the drinks are on Peter and James tonight. The room needs to be finished today to actually put the furniture in. So it's all hands on deck. And straight away, Steve spots a problem. Does it feel weird? No, it doesn't now. But this is where that wardrobe was. It's not damp, but it's flaking. You need to start somewhere. What the hell is that? 
The boys have had the rooms plastered, but the walls are not quite perfecto. And it's not long before Peter spots more flaky plaster. Oh dear, look at that. That's not very good, is it, James? What do we do about that? Uh, I need to scrape it off. Hey, it's an old Spanish house. What do you get? This is all fine. Bit of paint over it, you never know. It was there. That's right, Pete. Just paint over the cracks. The pipes are coming along beautifully. I think it might need a second coat or I might need a glass of wine. I'm going to persevere with that. Luckily, Pickle the dog is on hand with some motivational licks of his own. Really? Really? Well, James, is that all you've done? <laughs> yes. James may be struggling with his pipes, but the thought of dinner and drinks later is proving a real incentive. We've already got half the walls painted. I reckon we'll get this done before we go out tonight. I think I'm doing quite a good job, actually. I can see why they've only given me this corner to do, though. And a little brush. And a little brush, yeah. They're doing really well. It's like the little A-team of painting. Already it looks 100% better. It's only that last wall, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What's the time, James? I've got no idea. I know, it's getting towards drink time. Yeah, definitely. Wine has been mentioned quite a bit, and no-one's actually told me when wine o'clock is. So. Gin o'clock. Maybe supermarkets isn't our thing. Maybe we should go into painting and decorating. Let's get the decorating done, James, before you start considering a new career. In the charming coastal town of Altea, Nothing's going to stop Yorkshire lovebirds Kyle and Lauren's boho big day from being a success. And then I have a pause, and you're going to say, I do. Thanks to wedding planner Louise Bradley. I'll disappear and wait for the bride. We'll have all the guests sitting down, you'll have some music and stuff. Right. With the 26 guests in place and the wedding arch back upright, the bridesmaids have arrived. Hello. Hi, Gabe. Looking lovely. All they need now is the bride. We're just about 20 minutes behind, but as you know, it is the bride's prerogative to be late. It is, but with only one and a half hours left on the wedding permit, it would be great if she could get a wriggle on. Ah, here she is, the beautiful bride Lauren and her mum, Jill. Hello. How are you? I don't really know how to explain how I feel. <laughs> I've got you a flower. There's two more. Put one. No, the groom didn't know who they were for. No, don't tell me that. He had one job. <laughs> one job. He, at least he's got here on the day. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, well done, Kyle. In trouble already. I'll never give her away. I'll just gain a son-in-law because I love her to bits. <laughs> oh, stop it, Jill. You set me off. It's over to Keith, the celebrant, to prepare mum and daughter. Whenever you get down, uh, Kyle's going to come over. He's going to kiss both of you gently on the cheeks, OK? That'll, that'll be first time in a OK, long first time in a long <laughs> while. There you go. But the pressure's on Louise to keep the event moving. Well, it's 25 past one, so we need to stop Keith talking. Need to get on OK. The licence and the time. Oh, right. Right, and okay. the I do's and yeah. everything else. Yeah. And we just, we just wing it. OK. If anyone asks you a question, Lauren, say I do. Spoke to the girls, they know what they're doing. Okay. What you're gonna go down the ramp, walk right the way down, and then down the steps, down to the front of the aisle. He's not gonna look at you till you get there. Because okay. he don't want to turn around and look, because I think he'll get a bit old. That's fine. He's very nervous, yeah. very worried, very emotional. So oh, you've got to make sure you put him at ease. Here we go. She asked me to walk her down the aisle, which was I was in tears then, and I'm still in tears now because it's just been a privilege to be there with her all the way. Well, Kyle and Lauren and their families are thrilled that so many of you could come here to join them today. Lauren, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. With the ceremony in full swing, Louise is one step ahead. So we're all ready. The cupcakes look extremely nice to eat. We're good to go. I promise you, Lauren, that I will be your husband that I will be your husband. So long as you both shall live? I do. Lauren, 
Do you take this man to be I think it's pretty spot on, especially the bridesmaids with their like floaty, funky dresses and the flowers in the hair. It's really nice. So long as you both shall live? I do. Now, if you'd just like to uh, hold that pose, right? You pretend you're signing there, and if you put your hand on top of hers, and remember that this is the last time you'll have the upper hand. I, I, I do the jokes, Keith. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride! Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Baker. Oh, not a dry eye in the house. Couple of orange juice, Irene. Louise has done a fantastic job. Um, and I'm just, I'm so pleased with how everything's going and how it's all looking. You can't beat a good wedding. Good to meet you. You're welcome. And even better than the wedding is the reception. Here, save me a cupcake. <laughs> yes, please. Everyone's happy. That's the main thing. Yeah, I know we'll, we'll never forget it. Um, yeah, everything that's uh, that we've done today is it's been magical and uh, best day of our lives. Definitely. <laughs> Fulfilling dreams is all in a day's work for Louise and Irene. <laughs> all that's left is for the happy couple to drive off into the sunshine. Oh, well done. Well done. Another job done. Oh, you've earned that, ladies. Cheers. Coming up, Peter and James's paint party has a pooper. Okay, so we're all busy painting, so look where the other dog is, in the bed. <laughs> Jodie's taking herself to bed. And tribute act Simon is a real dead ringer for Meatloaf. Welcome to the stage, Meatloaf Benidorm. Alameda, shopkeepers and keen DIYers James and Peter Day. What colour is it? Grey. Are renovating their home with a paint party. Professionals. They've asked good friends Steve and Ian to help in return for dinner and drinks. Come on then, hurry up, because it's drinks time. The boys have brushed off the problems with the loose plaster as they need to finish today. I don't know what this great big bit is. <laughs> Paint needs time to dry before their furniture arrives the day after tomorrow. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Well, it looks like Pickle the dog is quite happy to literally watch paint dry, unlike some. OK, so we're all busy painting, so look where the other dog is. In the bed. <laughs> Jodie's taking herself to bed. But there's no rest for the lads under the watchful eye of Peter. Are we on to the last bit of all? Yeah. What about that bit at the top? I'm, I'm still on the pipes. Um, they're not, they're not going to fit me. I'm, I'm going to win with the pipes. Painting gear wasn't the original plan, but Steve's decided that he wants this painted out here, so we're doing it. Bet you're glad you got that large sum of white paint now, Peter. Oh, you may as well give the landing a lick, too. Are you happy with it? Yeah, that's a maid. Do you want to have a look at that, James? Oh, gosh, yeah. With the sunroom painted, it must be wine o'clock. I think it's gone really well. I think it's gone really well. That was a good sound. Oh. At least we've managed to get it done before the furniture arrives. Cheers. 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 Yeah. We'll have a beer now and then off to a restaurant and go and have some tapas. Right, guys, come on, let's go and get ready. Whoa. Hey, guys, perfect. Come on, let's go. Hang on, what's in that paint? As promised, the boys are treating Steve and Ian to dinner at a gourmet restaurant in the village. So well done, you. Hi, Ted. Hola. 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 I think it's a, a mark of true friendship. And we've bribed them to do some work. And quite willingly, they did it. Well done, everybody. Cheers. 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 The yeah. more we do, the more rooted we feel. And it's contentment, really. I'm amazed at how different the room looks. And it was only 55 euros. And it was only how much? 55 euros. And it was only 55 euros. Bargain. <laughs> Worth every penny. As the sun sets over Benidorm, 
the entertainers come out at night. And Meatloaf tribute act Simon is one of them. I'm just going to go in and get changed, settle down, have a beer, have a chill out. It's a well-trodden path for Simon, as one of Benny Dorm's longest-running acts. He's been performing as Meatloaf at the same venue six nights a week for the past 11 years. When you first start, you want to be a superstar, you want to make it, you want to make records and be famous. And then you just want to make some money out of it. And then it was a means of just earning of money. I kind of reconnected with people and realised how much singing and what we can do as entertainers can affect people by getting them through bad times, miserable times, sad times. With so much competition in Benidorm, the pressure's on for Simon to keep on top of his game. And in the crowd tonight, might just be his biggest fan. Oh my God, I can't wait to see it tonight. We flew over just for the show tonight. We're after being to Pink Bruno Mars and Meatloaf is the end of the night gig. The end of the hands party gig. And that's where we chose to end it tonight. Best live show I have ever been to. Like a ballet out of hell. And sharing the stage, Simon's singing partner, Leslie Ann Kaywood. It's a pleasure. It's, it's not like a job, you know what I mean? It's uh, put a work and stuff fun every night, don't we? We know? do, yeah, so yeah, it's fine. Every night's different. Time next, to rock and roll. The next time you see us, we'll be on stage. We will, because it's showtime. Big round of applause, welcome to the stage. We love very hard. Every time I look out, every single night, it's people that we know. It just brings fantastic enjoyment. And I've reached a place where a lot of people strive for their life. Simon's giving his all, and the crowd's going crazy. Job well done, guys. It was a good show tonight, really enjoyed tonight. It was a great crowd, fantastic crowd. Yeah, God bless, see you tomorrow. Cheers. The crowd has gone wild and our super fan has not been disappointed. You have to see this gig, it was brilliant. The crack we had. We're shattered now. All right? I don't know, it's only like, you sweating. know. Yeah, sweating. So after this, we're going to do something really rock and roll. We're going to get changed, <laughs> get in our car, go home on. and have a cup of tea and go to bed. That's what they're going to do. That's it. And then yep. get up and do it all again tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, the life of a rock star, eh, Simon? Now, where's my slippers? Next time on The Costas, YouTuber Louis and fiance Pablo jump on the property ladder. <laughs> Furniture saleswoman Haley is counting down the hours. I'm a little bit stressed out. I hate being late, and we're late. And fashion designer Wenda tries to avoid a catwalk catastrophe. This is where all the models are going to be. It's a bit tight for space. Oh,